Champion of Warframe, Hackpack Gaming is here with you to give you six builds for Kalervo. Not one, not two, six builds for Kalervo. Now, first of all, we're gonna do this as beginner approach, as to show you the abilities, explain everything. We will never be like, here is the build, ciao ciao. No, no, no. For those speedsters who wanna run like the Flash one, the build, the build, the build. You can go to down in the timestamps, click the build, get done, and uh, you're welcome. For the ones that now keep watching and want to learn about Kalervo, let's go! Starting first from his passive, Kalervo boosts 75% heavy attack efficiency and 100 heavy attack wind up speed on all melee weapons. You know what that means, right? Efficiency, heavy attack wind up speed, you know what it is. Your heavy attack weapons, like, what is the best heavy attack weapon in the game? What is it? What is it? What is it? Did you guess? Yes, it's the Glavino, right? The Glavino Primino. So, we're gonna get to that. Give me a second. First ability, you have two options. Either you tap or you hold, okay? If you hold, you're gonna teleport to the market location, okay? I'm gonna show you the ability in a second. And if you tap, you're gonna charge a heavy attack in that enemy. And now remember, that heavy attack is based on your melee weapon. It's not an ability base. What I mean with that is, if you have, for example, Gram heavy attack or you have let's say his part heavy attack or glaive doesn't work so good on this style i will show you why boom heavy attack from that weapon it's not the ability the ability doesn't have a heavy attack itself it's going to use the weapon but the most important and the juicy juicy thing about this ability is that it boosts your critical chance for the melee attacks by 326 percent after strength it starts at 100 flat and then the more strength you give her the more it's gonna give you critical chance earlier when i was benchmarking the ability i reached almost 900 percent critical chance now sometimes hey, i can reach uh, 1000 yeah yeah i'm gonna reach 1000 i'm gonna use my uh, roar yeah i'm gonna roar reach 1000 but you're not gonna do anything with that anyway so let me show you okay so if you tap let, let's, let me summon an enemy really quick, really quick. We're going to try to make this video as short as possible. Okay, boom. Teleport to the enemy. And you see how the glaive was charging? That's what I meant. Because we all know if you don't detonate the glaive, throw, it reaches the enemy, boom. Detonate. Glaive is not so good, all right? You need to throw and detonate. So this means you can use anything. You can use the gram, anything else, okay? Now, if you hold, this marker will show, all right? This marker will show. And if you release, it's going to teleport you to the location. Now, I put it up there, but it stopped me right here. It's affected by range. The shorter range you have, let me put it right here, you see? The shorter range you have, the less area you travel. Even the marker will show you you can travel to the sky. But you will not be able to travel to the sky because you are limited. Okay? Now, if you look up there, it's to 326%, as you can see. And it lasts for very, very, very nice amount of time. Okay? That's the first ability. The second ability is very, 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 very simple. This one, you're going to be surrounding yourself with daggers. Those daggers will give you, for the first time, over shield. Uh, over guard, sorry. It's called over guard, not over shield. You, this guy doesn't have shields. DE, please. Just give this guy shields because this guy gonna be all the time suffering to survive. A lot of Thanos will stop playing this Warframe for two reasons. First, he doesn't have shield. The second thing, why? Because his first ability is a Helmnith ability. So they can just take this ability, throw it in uh, any Warframe they want, and they're gonna be happy this Warframe is useless. Just give him a shield for shield gating, and we're gonna be using this Warframe. DE. Listen to me sometimes. Okay, let's go. Recompense. The Overguard can cap at 5000. Okay, the Overguard, if you play Deviri and you know about the decrees, you would know what is Overguard. Okay, the Overguard will prevent you from getting knocked down and you immune to a lot of stuff. Okay, now, if those daggers doesn't hit some enemies, they're gonna hit your Overguard. Now, let me show you. I'm not going to show you like when, when there is uh, no enemies and so on, but uh, whatever. So here you go. Boom, boom, boom. You see that 5,000 up there on top of my HP? Boom, boom, boom. Now, don't be super happy. Oh, my God. It's 5,000. Oh, my God. That's so powerful. What are you talking about, Hank? What are you talking about? Let me show what I'm talking about. You see those 5,000? Look at that. Dead. Okay? So don't be super hype about the 5,000. We need, we need shield gating. Okay? Shield gating is very, very uh, important. Moving next. 
to the next ability. All right. So collective curse. Colervo sends forth curse that blinds enemies when a cursed enemy takes damage from him. Every other cursed enemy also suffers a portion of the damage. Don't, don't make this ability confuse you. What it does is going to be a chain link. It's going to be a chain linking those enemies. When you hit the main enemy or whatever, all those enemies going to get portion of that damage. 81%. 100% depends on how much it, it caps at 100%. We know that it, you, you know, but uh, d depends. I will let me show you the ability first so you get an idea what is this about. All right, let's go simulate. Alrighty, boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, Im imagine how unlucky I am. And when I put simulate, there's one guy spawned. <laughs> oh my god, this game is killing me, man. Let's go. So, if I put the, th the third ability on. Look at that. It chains those enemies. Depends on how much redirection you have. It got that when you shoot this one, you see the other ones? Boom. So using AOE weapon. Mamma mia. It's gonna be so 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 powerful. Yeah. So this one is affected already. Uh as you can see here, it's affected by range and affected by ability strength for the right direction. Now the range 47 meters. But this one it consumes a lot of range, right? It consumes a lot of range. You need a lot of humongous amount of range, but it doesn't worth that amount of range, right? And of course, you want to reach the 81 uh, beyond 81%, you can go uh, ahead and do that. All right, moving next to the fourth ability, which is the most useless ability. Don't, oh my god, Hank, it makes a slash. Yeah, I know, I understand, but it's useless. It's useless. Even if you want to build it for Elite Sanctuary, it's useless. Okay, the void, uh, the void answers Kalervu, invocation with a storm of dagger that run down any enemies, blah, 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 easy as that. Radius 19 meters, duration 19 seconds, the damage per second, 4,000 slash. It's, it's it's really nothing. You you don't you don't want this ability, all right? If you want to helm it something, you put this uh, you helm this ability. Look at this. Go. Yeah, you can you can. I mean, you can like sit down maybe and wait for them to die. Maybe after six hundred years, you no, know, seven hundred years. Or... Yeah, Hank. But why don't you just armor strip them or prime them so this ability can kill them? <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's go. So you got that now, you got all the stuff you need, you know about Kalervo, that's it. So how do you use Kalervo technically? For me, travel, boost your uh, critical chance. Second ability, all right, to give yourself the uh, over uh, overguard. But you can do self damage to yourself. Look, I have 104 HP. Look at this, two HP. Kids, don't try this at home, okay? Be sure there is enemies around you all the time. Don't kill yourselves. But DE, I know what you're doing, DE. You're preparing us for the self damage, huh? <laughs> I see what you're doing. Yeah. So anyway, so you hit the first ability, you get your critical chance. You hit the second ability too. Get your overshield active. You hit the third ability and to chain enemies damage and boom, use whatever weapon you want. If you're gonna use, for example, let's take an example because some the gram lovers doesn't hate me. Let me put gram on and hopefully I didn't remove one heavy uh, better stock, heavy heavy kilograms. There you go. Boom 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 shiriki boom. And now we're gonna travel to this guy and there you go. That's the whole that's the whole idea, alright? We keep traveling to enemies and killing those enemies. Boom boom boom. Shiriki bi shiriki boo. Easy as that. Look at that. This is this is the idea of this. But no 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 no. No come on, you're not gonna do that, right? Don't do that. If I see someone doing that if I see someone doing that, okay? If I see someone doing that, I'm gonna come for you. Alright? Here how you play uh Gavadero. Uh Gavadero. Colervo. Okay, here how you do Colervo. First ability. Second ability, third ability active. See you guys in heaven. End of story. Okay? That's how you play him. Okay? Easy as that. Now let's talk about builds. Finally, Hank. Fi it took you nine minutes to talk us about the builds. Now starting from the first build. This build is no helmet. Means you can take this build anywhere you want. You can have fun in Steel Path. Enjoy your time. And guarantees. Okay. Corrosive projection. But now, if you want to change the corrosive projection, of course, you can change it with, for example, for example, growing power for more strength. You can do that. More strength means more critical chance, more damage redirection, blah, 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 blah. All right. Now, Umbral Intensify, Primed Flow, Continuity, Ogre Secret, Transformative, Rolling Guard, Overextend, Adaptation. Rolling Guard is to cleanse because you don't know what kind of situation you are in. You remember, now we don't have shield gating. 
Running guard is a must. Put running guard before any of those mods. If you don't have running guard for this Warframe, just put him there or throw him for the helmet until you have a running guard. That's my biggest advice for you. A running guard is a must. You get statue effect on you when the overguard is not there, boom, you're dead. Easy breezy. Now, adaptation is a must as well because there is no way to, to make this guy like survive, really. Like, no way. You cannot even have pillage. You cannot have anything, anything, anything. It's really hard. Okay, only destruction, only CC, only high amount of damage and teleporting from area to area is the way this guy can survive. He doesn't have CC, he doesn't have anything. Now, some terrorists will say, Hank, you don't use the Ogre Secret because he doesn't have shield. Yeah, I know, but this is the ways you compromise to get, uh, you know, some extra strength, all right? Ability strength, 80% energy spent on abilities converted to shields. We know, I know, I know, I know. I know, but it's okay. One day he have Pokemon, we're gonna switch it. Now moving next to strip. Now we're gonna be using one of our baby abilities, which is what? We're gonna be using the terrify. Now, as I said already, that this guy works on destruction. So terrifying enemies and armor stripping them using your third ability as well to chain enemies. It's gonna be very, very, very deadly. Let me show you and demonstrate for you what I am talking about. All right, let me let me show you. Teleporting, chaining enemies, armor stripping them. See you in hell. Okay, that's that. Now you need to. I know there's a lot of process. Okay, just follow me. And the good part, all those six builds use the same amount of forma. Five forma. Six deadly builds, and you're a happy fellow. Okay, moving next to damage. Now, when we say damage, we say corrosive projection. You can, of course, always, always, always change the aura. Always growing power, all right? Always change the aura. If you want to use steel, listen, you can put aura forma in there if you want to. If you want to, like, love this frame, you can do that. Corrosive projection, premature footed. Now he's saying, yeah, Hank, but overguard doesn't, doesn't make me fall down. Yeah, but overguard will go away, and you don't have shield gating, and you don't want to be fall down, and you're... Booty and you're gonna be dead and you're gonna be saying hank deliver bad builds no i'm not giving you that chance okay umbral anticify prime flow continuity ogre secret trend 42 drawing guard adaptation narrow mind now we're gonna have the eclipse show baby i know hank you should boost more than uh, nah, nah, nah. I, I understand that i understand but we're gonna have high duration 100 efficiency this guy don't play with efficiency with this guy you don't want negative efficiency but, but range we don't care about range okay eclipse you have this, uh, the uh, collective curse, it's, not, it's gonna suffer a bit from the range, but I promise you guys, you don't wanna get close to those enemies at any, like, trust me, 8 meters is enough to cast this ability to, uh, let me show you how it goes, okay? Easy but easy. Let's go, boom, 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 shriki, boom, jumping here, let me put here, here, you see, look, here, is enough distance, you see, this is enough distance, you're gonna be casting your eclipse, you're gonna cast your uh, critical chance boost, and you are a happy guy, right? You don't need to get close to this enemy. Stay away from this enemies, okay? Very, very important, very important. Moving next to the third build, baby. Uh, fourth build, uh, the cap. This one, why we call it cap? Because it has the potential of damage capping. We all know that. Some strength here, some strength there, some range. We'll play around, you know, you know, you know if you know. All right, corrosive projection, premature footed, intensify flow, continuity, stretch, uh, transit fortitude, rolling guard adaptation, and overextend this time to lower the strength, get more range, so we get uh, enemies blinded. Now, if I don't want to blind the enemies, and I am a very good in maneuvering the game, now we need to, of course, understand our uh, fellow Thanos, how it goes, and so on. So yeah, okay, so we're gonna be using Bridge Surge from our baby Wisp, and we already know how is Wisp going for the blinding and using the radiation to confuse enemies, and here we are. Very, very, very simple. Casting the first ability, 278% critical chance, You're using a Bridge Surge, chaining enemies, and bada boom, bada boom, see you in the paradise. Moving next, now to the uh, build number 5. Now... Same stuff, same thing, same there, same here. In le we're gonna be using the air burst. Air burst. The air burst is the ability from Zephyr, but, but, of course, you can use larva to, you, you, you can use larva with the augment to give them corrosive, toxin, well, you know that deal, what I'm talking about, but it's quite a lot of things. So, you can use larva, you can use ant snare, anything that collects enemies, even pull from mag, you can use anything that collects enemies. You can replace this helmet ability with anything that collects enemies. It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to give the same effect. So, let me show you, my friends, how it goes. Bra -brum -bra -brim. Let's go there. And here we are. Okay? Now, remember, you need to know, if you hold this ability, it's going to push enemies away. 
if you just tap it, it's gonna bring them together. Okay, tap, bring together. Hold, push them away. Tap, bring them together. Hold, push them away. So don't say Hank didn't mention this for you guys. All right, and bada boom, bada boom, everything is dead. That's why this Warframe is meant for Glaive. This way Warframe cannot survive. This Warframe is very, very, very squishy. Don't let that 5,000 overguard fool you, all right? Moving to Distraction, which is, of course, always my favorite. Now, this one is for Endurance Solo Style, you know what I'm talking about. Amber and Flow, Continuity, Stretch, Transfer, to Rolling, Guard, Rotation, Overextend. And, of course, we're going to be running 235% range. If I had, like, 500% range possibility, I would put, like, 700% range possibility to have the Resonator. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so we're going to release put these enemies, but this time we're going to be releasing those enemies. And I'm going to throw the Resonator at them. Of course, high range means the Resonator will protect you, and you're going to be fine fellow. Okay, you're going to have your Overguard active, and you're going to have your uh, Critical Chance active. And you're going to be just killing those enemies while they're chasing your Resonator. Resonator is the helmet ability from Octavia. Everyone loves Octavia. Okay, now, a few things we want to talk about. We're going to talk about Arcanes now. Now, this for Warframe is meant to be, is, it's, a, it's a meant to be a melee weapon Warframe. I don't see a way that you would play this Warframe with a primary or secondary weapon. Of course, you can use Epitaph to prime enemies, as always. You can use Sedo to prime enemies and spread your viral around. Yes, you can do that, of course. But this Warframe is meant to be for Glaive weapons. I'm telling you, I'll be honest with you. This Warframe is designed... For glaive, that is a good idea. This, that, that's a good thing because we know that glaives are not getting nerfed any soon. So use Sirata, Exoris, whatever, any, 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 any glaive weapon you have in your hand, boom, get it done, easy. Now, of course, this was this, this. I hate to say it, but now because this Warframe glaive driven initial combo god roll is more gonna be more expensive now because this guy give you a high efficiency that means the glaive initial combo multiplier is gonna be crazy so watch for the prices now we're gonna talk about arcane so we're gonna focus on arcanes that require uh melee what we have we have either the melee damage or we have the strike for uh, for for a critical uh, for uh, for attack speed so you don't want the attack speed, you're not, you're not gonna be like, da, 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 da. no, you're not gonna be doing that. You want something like, boom, you hit them like a hammer. Melee damage, baby, all day long, okay? Now, the arcane energize here, we're gonna come to some argument. Depends on what build you're gonna be using. Using Malt Augment here is very, very, very good thing. But I would like to have my energize over the augment. I don't want to run out of energy in this frame. It's really, really terrifying to run out of energy in this frame. Trust me. Just play the frame for a couple of times. Try him here and there. And you will see that this frame doesn't like to be without energy. Now what we're going to do, you know, just like uh, maybe, maybe, let's, let's pick... Uh, my uh, let's pick my uh, resonator and we take this warframe for a spin where we're gonna take him we're gonna take him of course to uh, steel path we're gonna go to mod steel path that's the end game sentencing no oh, it's lower lower it's lower just go to the lower to the circus that's where is the end game yeah yeah why not right, yeah why not okay let's go uh the void baby let's go the void and mod and let's go here we are in the void mode. If you watch my videos, and I know you already do that, you usually start you start seeing the steel path from when enemy spawns. But this time, no. You need to start. I need to show you from here because so you have an idea what's happening. Now, in case you're wondering how this my warframe is invisible, is because the hacking uh, stuff. Okay. Now you want to have your overguard always active and be sure to hit all the enemies. Otherwise, you're gonna be hitting yourself. Now, first ability hit. First ability hit. First ability hit. First ability hit. Now hold. Of course, you need to hold, alright? Resonator always active. Chaining enemies always active. Alright. Your over uh, your overshield always uh, the overguard always active. I am so new to this overshield stuff, alright? Okay, boom. Jump, hit, jump, hit. First ability I'm talking about. When I say jump, first ability, okay. First ability hit. Okay, this is like I'm I'm, I'm training you in the gym, you know, like we are in the gym. First that like goes. First ability hit, like you know the the karate stuff, all right? First ability hit. Don't, don't tap, don't, don't tap. You'll die, you'll die. If you tap, you'll die. If you're fighting like some something like violence and you tap, you'll die, my friend. You'll die, you'll die, hundred percent. That's it. 
That's it. We don't need to see anymore, all right? You got the idea. Tap. Second, second ability. Third ability. Always active. Resonator. Always active. Terrify. Bridge Surge. Eclipse. Whatever you have. Active. First ability. Hold. Let go. Glaive. Thank me later. All right? So, by this, we came to an end to our video. I really hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm trying and streaming. As you can see, there's green things there. <laughs> that means I want to tell you guys that I stream now on Kick. So, go to Kick and type Hank Payne, you're gonna find my channel, drop me a follow there uh, I'm pausing streaming on YouTube, first for, for, for testing now if Kick goes well, I'm gonna stay streaming on Kick forever if things did not go well, come back to YouTube, Boogie YouTube will always home so hit that subscribe button, let me know in the comments below which build you're going to try and if you think this builds are good, but I don't know nobody is perfect, so big love to you all, thank you guys so much for watching we have Discord link in the description, let me know in the comments below and uh, big love to you all See you later and a lot of videos is coming. The weapon, the, the fashion frame, the puzzles, everything is coming, baby. Everything. Just stay tuned, okay? See you guys. I have a lot of work to do.